Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am back today with another epic and delicious cake recipe. I'll be making my strawberry tuxedo cake and this one is perfect for Valentine's Day. If you never had a tuxedo cake before, you're in for a real treat with this one. It's made with alternating layers of tender cake, no bake, uh, cheesecake filling. I'm gonna load this one up with tons of strawberries, finish the top off with the chocolate ganache and add more strawberries on top. Let me show you how to make this epic cake creation. And now before we get to that incredible no-bake cheesecake filling, let's talk about the cake layers. Today I'll be using my chocolate cake and my vanilla cake. I made half a recipe of each, baked the batter in an eight inch pan, let them cool completely, and then use a long serrated knife to level off the top and split the layers in half. And for my filling, I've softened 24 ounces of cream cheese in my mixing bowl. To that, I'm going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. and half a cup of sour cream. And then you use my mixer to cream this all together for about three to four minutes until that cream cheese is smooth and creamy. And add three fourths cup of sweetened condensed milk. And mix that all together for a few more minutes. And to set my cheesecake filling today, I'll be using some unflavored gelatin. I have one and a half tablespoons of gelatin. I'll add that to three tablespoons of water. Give that a thorough mix. And then I'm going to take this over to the microwave and heat it uh, for about 30 seconds in 10 second intervals until that gelatin is completely dissolved. Pour the hot gelatin straight into that cheesecake batter and then mix it in with your mixer and then grab a second mixing bowl and divide this cheesecake batter in half. Into one bowl, I'm going to add half a cup of melted dark chocolate chips and then give that chocolate a thorough mix. And into the second bowl, add in half a cup of melted white chocolate chips. And now let's put this beautiful cake together. Today I'll be using an eight inch springform pan to assemble the cake. I also have a little bit of uh, plastic cake collar. Just going to add a little bit of height to that pan to uh, allow the cake to be that much taller. I've sliced up a couple cups of fresh strawberries. I also have some caramel sauce and some chocolate sauce that we're going to add to the cake layers. I'm going to start with one half of my chocolate cake layer. I've placed it on the springform base. I'm going to drizzle this cake with loads of chocolate sauce. You can also use some melted chocolate. Then I'm going to add tons of fresh strawberries. Just line the whole layer with them. Add that second half on top. And then add the chocolate cheesecake filling on top. Spread that evenly to the edges. And top this layer off with the first half of the vanilla cake layer. Just give it a nice squeeze to make sure that it's nicely settled in there. And then drizzle this layer with caramel. And add more strawberries. and then pour that white chocolate cheesecake filling over the top. And then grab a little offset spatula to level off the top. And then this is ready to go into the refrigerator. You wanna let it chill for at least six hours or you can leave it in there overnight. And we're back for part two. I've let my tuxedo cake sit in the refrigerator overnight. Now it's time to remove the spring form and then uh, take off the acetate paper. Now the solution, if you don't have a super tall pan, if you don't have acetate paper, just use a larger uh, baking pan, like a nine or 10 inch spring form. The cake won't be as tall, but it'll be just as delicious. I'm going to top this gorgeous cake with some chocolate ganache. I'm just gonna pour it over the top and then use a spatula 
to kind of nudge it over the edge. And now let's cut into this beautiful cake and see what it looks like on the inside. Grab a sharp serrated knife to help you cut through all those incredible layers. Oh, check that out. Now this is like a true slice of heaven. Let's check out what it looks like on the inside. How gorgeous is this strawberry chocolate tuxedo cake? Absolutely love how it turned out. I added some chocolate ganache on top, some strawberry whipped cream for the full recipe, including the recipe for the whipped cream and the chocolate. Just head down into my video description box. I have a link there that'll take you over to my blog. And this uh, recipe will also be in metric measurements. Time to dig in and enjoy this cake. And I am loving all these layers. They look so pretty together. I'm going to grab a little bit of everything looks so pretty. Mm. Wow, not only is this cake incredibly beautiful, it is incredibly delicious. It's like the embodiment of chocolate and strawberries. It is just phenomenal. Those no-bake chocolate cheesecake layers are so velvety smooth, they just melt into your mouth, combined with those tender cake layers dotted with the strawberries. It is just heavenly. If you're looking for an epic strawberry chocolate cake for your next special occasion, this is the cake for you. Perfect for Valentine's Day, birthdays, anniversaries, you name it, this is the cake for you. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.